All right, we got a mean old chomper over here. Let's take a close up of this guy. Got all the spell effects in there. It's nasty. So that spit attack, if you stand in front of it, it'll probably level you in one round. There, I'll let him actually hit me and you can see the damage on that. Oh, okay, so I stripped my armor in one shot. Not even sure if these guys will grab a hold of you if they're just, uh, just have their breath weapon. We'll get in there and give them a hug. Nope. Not that the spit isn't bad enough. Pretty vicious for a houseplant. Abomination. I'm going to take a close, close up look at him. That is a face for radio. Yeah, so they seem to have uh, an aura they put around them, poison or something. Uh, you can see that 25 damage on my armor per tick. And then they shoot a skull. There we go which does a fair bit more damage, and then they seem to have a close-up attack as well. Pop a potion here, maybe. Oh, I'm out of potions. That's not a good thing. Okay, tactical retreat. Probably put those potions. Okay, don't even have backup potions. Do the old song and dance and I uh, should be able to take him down. Just lost too much armor messing around with that chomper. any luck I can find a wisp here and uh, get a close-up of that too. Ooh. A fair bit of lag. There we go, there's a wisp. So the wisps uh, shoot a projectile at you, and anyone that shoots a projectile, it seems to be dodgeable. So uh, there's not a lot to these guys, and very easy to kill. Probably the easiest mob in the game. Anyways, put him out of his misery. And all the loot seems to be totally random. Um, ether shards are very, very common. Um, and I've gotten actual um, weapon and armor drops. Um, and then you get these broken items that you can um, salvage. Oh, there we go. Last but not least is the exploding mushroom. And they drop no loot, but as you can see, any of the, uh, any of the scenery they destroy you can loot. So, uh, oh, and the other things are um, slogs, but they're subterranean only. They're kind of like uh, humanoids, um, kind of goblinies sort of things. 
um, with a knockback. That's their their main thing, um, and just hand to hand combat. Anyhow, I'm gonna farm these wisps real quick, and uh, we'll see what we get for drops. Looks like a pretty good spawn area. See what they've got in their pockets. There we go. There's a recipe. So all the recipes that drop automatically go in your book, your uh, recipe journal, which you can access, uh, I think, by hitting L. Uh, and if you get any duplicates, they become a tradable item. Okay, these cactus are killing me. All right, it's a broken pick. There's one of the salvage items. Oh, I didn't see that. Gloves of Restoration, so an actual item drop there. Of course, they can be salvaged if they're not an upgrade. Um, I haven't noticed a difference between the surface loot and the loot you get in the caves. Smokes is a lot of wisps here. Um, I'll take a look at uh, those drops in a minute here. I think the best item I found so far is a uh, 250 armor helm, which was a massive upgrade for what I was wearing. Um, the gear previous to this patch was uh, the stuff you could craft infinite amounts of armor and that for testing uh, PvP, and that was I think 50 armor after the patch is what it turned into, so massive upgrade on that. So you can get some really cool stuff off these guys. But honestly, crafting just seems to be brutal. Um, the number of aspects in that you require. Aspects? Essence? I don't remember. Anyways, um, probably have to salvage 20 or 30 items in order to get it. I'll take gauntlets. Alright, one more wisp and I'll take a look at those items that I've dropped. And a broken pick. All right, so yeah, these are the broken picks, um, mainly for salvaging. There we go. That's a duplicate of a recipe, so that's what that looks like. It's that tunic of rekindling. Uh, those look pretty good. So that was what 180 armor. Oh, never mind. Good critical strike on it, though. Same deal. But if you see, they've got a glove icon so they can be used in salvaging um, for making other gloves. You can also mix and match. So you can get like these. Um, it'll pop up. That uh, red and blue icon. Uh, I think that's primal, that's what it's called. Again, it's used in recipes, but uh, you can salvage this either for primal or for um, the weapons, for making other weapons. Anyhow, I'm going to take off for a while, and I'll see you later.